Hey guys, Eric here with the Savvy Campers. We are camping right now and we are going to look at the Renogy 200 watt uh, Eclipse portable solar kit. Um, we have 200 watts of uh, monocrystalline panels on the roof, but uh, as you can see, we are in the shade right now. Um, so they're not actually uh, giving us that much power. Um, we've got a little bit of sun, a little bit of sun peeking through on the roof there, but but we can actually go through and uh, I'll probably throw a screenshot up of how much power we're actually getting. Um, but uh, let's get on the app right now. So here's the Renogy app. And right now we are getting point or 1.34 amps. So that's not bad. Um, looks like 1.4, 1.26, but, but let's throw this portable kit and we can actually put it in the sun and uh, see how much, uh, how many amp hours it gives us. So let's go ahead and open it up. I've already used it a little bit, so it's all, uh, all set up for us. But really, there was not much to set up for us. So, so here's the nice, uh, nice panels. And it is a briefcase style, so we've got two latches. And when we bought it, one of the latches just needed uh, tightening a little bit. But other than that, it works well. We, we had actually purchased the 100 watt version and Renogy accidentally sent us this 200 watt version. So we have to send it this one back and they're sending us the 100 watt. But I figured uh, we might as well test it out and see, see how good the 200 watt is and then we'll test out the 100 watt. Okay, so what we're going to do is just open it up. And then we've got our, our cables we purchased these cables, an extension cable, and then we purchased this other uh, MC4 to Anderson cable. And then this is what Renogy gave us um, in the kit when we purchased it. It's just an alligator clamp. So, so we'll go ahead and get these feet out. And we'll adjust this um, once we get it up, but. Okay, so there we are. We have the 200 watt set up between these two uh, trees, giving it shade. Um, so we're getting a, a battery, so we don't have the battery. You're supposed to hook the battery up first, but it's kind of tough on these portable units. So, so let's go ahead and do that. So we have a 20 foot cable and we did buy the uh, 10 gauge wire. And keep in mind that if you do this and you have a ZAMP solar connection, you need to have this little adapter that switches the polarity because the solar kit has a different polarity on it. And we use the adapter on that other side. So here's our, our ZAMP solar ready kit. Plug in. Let's plug it in the right way. There we go. And we might not have enough. Let's see. We should have enough. Here we go. So let's go ahead and uh, connect. Connect that up. So we've got that adapter in there. And then we'll go ahead and then connect the MC4s. Kind of difficult to do one-handed holding the camera, but We'll manage. Okay. So here we go. We've got 13.4 volts, 13.5. So we're, we're pulling in 9.4 amps. So that's uh, a lot better than our rooftop setup. So let's go ahead. Let's go actually look on the roof so I can show you those panels. And we love having our rooftop solar because we don't have to actually do anything. But as you can see, we've got one panel partially shaded there and then one panel pretty much fully shaded. So at this specific campground at this time, it doesn't really help us out. So let's go back on the app and see what we're getting for power. So yeah, we're getting 0.74, 0.75, 0.76, 0.78, 0.79, 0.80, 0.81, 0.82, 0.83, 0.84, 0.85, 0.86, 0.87, 0.88, 0.89, 0.90, 
where on that one we're getting about 10 amps. So today we've generated, let's see, 17 amp hours today, and it's uh, it's 212, and we've generated 17. And it looks like on that other one, in in less than two hours, we can generate the same amount. So this um, this kit's very important to us because when we go out and boondock, we like to use a coffee pot we have our inverter hooked up so we use a lot of battery power and we need to have that extra solar to get those extra amp hours because other otherwise we'll be pretty much dead on the water we're out for a four-day trip um, this time and we've been pretty we're pretty frivolous with with using the coffee maker and, and keeping our things heated So here you can see our, our power inverter, it's a 2000 watt, and here's our solar charge controller, so let's see, so yeah, only 0.8 amps. See now we're, yeah, we're putting out almost 11 amps on this charger. So having uh, that direct sunlight really makes a difference. I almost wish that uh, maybe instead of having the 100 watts, so the 100 watts basically going to be one of these, but then it'll be split in the middle. Um, so it will be about half the size and, and I don't mind having it half the size for traveling, but I will say having, you know, 11, oh, now we're getting about 11.2 amp hours of charge. Um, so it's, it's doing significantly well right now compared to our our rooftop. So we're gonna go ahead and let this uh, keep going and we might have to move it between the trees a little bit. It looks like this edge we're starting to touch so we can scoot it over. This is, uh, I think I've used it a couple times now but um, if we wanted to leave it out, we could lock it up to the tree. Basically, you want to have it a 45 degree angle from the sun, so we might be, we can test it out. Might almost be at too steep of an angle. So we're getting about 10.1 amps. Let me just stick my hand over one of the panels. And we just lost one amp by doing that. Take it off. We're back up to 10.5. So um, you can play with the angle on these and uh, we could see if we could get it higher. Oh, it looks like we lost, looks like we lost a little bit. That's it back the way it was um, but yeah you can play with the angle on it to see if you can get a little higher amp hours but um, so far um, this is like I said the third time we've used it and it's worked out very well for us um, so we can actually get some solar charge when we're boondocking in the trees like this and it's a beautiful campground um, no problems with it, it just uh, have to keep our things charged um, Overall, quality-wise, um, I like the case. It's a very nice case. I will say that this 200-watt uh, kit, for a lot of people, it might be it might be heavy. It's, uh, it's uh, we stored it behind our couch, and it is a little bit cumbersome to get back there by yourself with one hand on the handle. Um, I do obviously like the output, but storing it and traveling with it, uh, I mean, it's it's a uh, I think it's about 42 inches. Um, long so it's not like it's a small piece to pick up and put down and store but um, if you need the power and and uh, didn't want rooftop I actually think if I did it again I don't know if I'd do the rooftop I think I would do one of these 200 watt Eclipse uh, briefcases since we already have solar on the roof that's why we're only doing the 100 watt but I think if I were doing it again I'd do this 200 watt 
All right, thanks for watching. If you have any uh, questions, leave your leave them down in the comments below. Um, and uh, once we get the 100 watt panel, we'll be sure to test those out. We're actually going for a, a five day trip and then for a 15 day trip. So we'll put, put a lot of hours on that, that little 100 watt fold up. All right, see you later.